Today we are going to introduce ourselves to some vocabulary pertaining to forces and motion. Our goal is to introduce key vocabulary that will help us better understand forces and motion. Physics! Yay! To do this activity, you're going to create a foldable. You can use the template that I gave you, or you can fold a paper in half, write down your vocabulary words on the outside, and then opening it up like a booklet, writing the definitions on the inside. So see the directions in order to create the foldable, and I will show you an example at the end of this lesson. The first vocabulary word we're going to focus on is the word force. Now, in science, sometimes we use a different way of explaining a word that you might use in language arts in another context. So in physics, a force is an interaction that will change the motion of an object. It can cause an object with a mass to change its velocity, which of course means to accelerate, to move. A force can be described as a push or pull. For this purpose, you can write for your vocabulary definition, the simplest term, a push or a pull. Your next vocabulary word is speed. And in physics, speed, the speed of an object is the magnitude of the change in its position. So it's the rate at which someone or something is able to move or operate. Speed, the rate at which someone or something is able to move or operate. A next common word you've probably heard is acceleration. So acceleration is the increase in the rate of speed in something. It's the rate of change of a velocity of the velocity of an object with respect to time usually. But for your definition you can put increase in the rate of speed of something. Now there's an actual formula for acceleration that we will get into in later chapters, but for now we're keeping our definitions pretty simplified. If at any time you need more time to pause and go back, feel free to do so throughout this video. The velocity of an object is the rate of change of its position with respect to its frame of reference. Um, it's its speed and direction. So velocity is an object's speed and directions. Inertia is the property of matter by which it retains its state of rest or velocity along a straight line. So it's a tendency to do nothing or to remain unchanged. An unbalanced force is unequal in magnitude. It's the opposite in direction. It can be any direction but opposite. So it's when unequal forces cause an object to move. When something's imbalanced, it's going to cause something to move. move. As opposed to a balanced force. So that's when two equal forces act on an object and generally that object does not move. So if you think of the images like the weights, of course one causes it to move up or down. When they're equal, they remain the same, they don't move. So that's a balanced force. Friction. Friction is the resistance to motion of an object moving relative to another. So it's not a fundamental force like gravity or electromagnetism. Instead, they believe it's the result of the electromagnetic attraction between particles that are charged in two touching surfaces. So resistance is when the surface of an object moves over another surface. So if it's something that's smooth, you might notice you can move a heavy object over a smoother surface versus if you're moving it over a more jagged surface. So that's the friction, it's that resistance. Finally, work. Now, you may think of work as one thing in language arts, but 
in physics, it's the amount of energy transferred by a force. So it's how much energy is being used or transferred by a force. This is, of course, applied to the direction of the displacement. So take a minute to pause the video and see if your notes match mine. So we have our vocabulary foldable, and I gave you a template to work with this. Handwritten is fine. You have the words, and then when you flip up the words, you should be able to find the definitions. So make sure you pause the video and make sure your definitions match with mine. So in today's video, we were introduced to forces and motion vocabulary. I hope you found it helpful, and I hope that you are on the road to understanding that in science, sometimes words that we use every day have a specific or different meaning. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.